good morning children nice to meet you again i hope you all learned well the previous topic what i taught already so in the previous class we all learned about the photosynthetic process did you remember what is photosynthesis photosynthesis is a process by which green plants prep, uh, prepare their own food make use of chlorophyll sunlight carbon dioxide and water today we are going to learn the other pro other physiological process that is respiration this organelles which are responsible for respiration is mitochondria you all know that the organelles which are responsible for photosynthesis is chloroplast like that this organelles which are responsible for cellular respiration uh, cellular respiration is mitochondria now we are going to learn about mitochondria and its and its function so mitochondria are filamentous organelles or rod shaped organelles which are present in the cytoplasm of the cell so you know all know that cytoplasm have so many organelles like ribosomes endoplasmic reticulum mitochondria lysosomes etc one of the important organelle that is meant for cellular respiration is mitochondria this mitochondria are filamentous rod shaped organelles or granular organelles present in the cytoplasm mitochondria are discovered by kolliker in the year 1857 this my colica discovered mitochondria as granular organelles in the striated muscles you all know that what are eukaryotic cells what are eukaryotic cells now this all the organelles which are the cells contain membrane bound organelles or called eukaryotes these eukaryotic cells have advanced nucleus nucleus is surrounded by membrane all other cellular organelles are surrounded by membrane such cells are eukaryotes so eukaryotic cells in uh, the mitochondria perform cellular respiration and synthesize the energy which form bond atp you all know that what is atp atp is adenosine triphosphate it is a energy rich compound formed as a result of cellular respiration so the organelles which are responsible for cellular respiration is mitochondria as a result of cellular respiration atp the energy rich compounds are produced so mitochondria produce the energy rich compound atp so they are referred to as power houses of the cell or atp factory of the cell the size of mitochondria ranges from 0.5 mu m to 2.0 mu m the size of mitochondria ranges from 0.5 mu m to 2.0 mu m it it also contains 60 to 70 percentage protein 25 to 30 percentage lipids and 3 to 7 percentage of dna or other tRNA and other enzymes we got for respiration it's for cellular respiration it can contain mitochondria consist of 60 to 70 percentage protein 25 to 30 percentage lipids 3 to 70 percentage tRNAs and uh, other enzymes are required for cellular respiration now we are going to learn the structure of mitochondria mitochondria this is the important cellular organelle meant for cellular respiration mitochondria is surrounded by double membrane outer membrane and inner membrane this is outer membrane and this one is the inner membrane outer membrane and inner membrane this outer membrane is freely permeable it each membrane is about 70 to 80 angstrom thickness then each uh, this outer membrane is freely permeable it will allow certain select uh, it, it will allow all the small molecules to get inside the cell all the small molecules to get inside the cell so it is Uh, freely permeable but the inner membrane is selectively or semi permeable it can allow certain selected particles or selected molecules to get through it 
sun. So the outer membrane, this outer membrane, mitochondria are covered by double membrane, outer membrane and inner membrane. The outer membrane is freely permeable. It will allow small molecules to get through it. And this, uh, it also contains uh, lipids and proteins, a kind of protein molecule pour in. It, this outer membrane also called a kind of protein molecule that is pour in. It acts as a channel for the entry of other molecules. Next, the inner membrane. Inner membrane has certain infoldings. This inner membrane has certain infoldings called cristae. Mitochondria, inner membrane have certain finger-like projections or infoldings called cristae. This cristae uh, provide the area, uh, this, uh, this uh, cristae provides space to hold the enzymes. So, so uh, inner membrane, inner membrane have certain infoldings. This, uh, this inner membrane also have lip. Pits and protein. So it is lipoproteinaceous in nature. The inner membrane uh, have certain infoldings or finger-like projections. These finger-like projections is called cristae. This inner membrane. Uh, next about cristae. So mitochondria, the infoldings uh, provide enough space to mitochondria to hold variety of enzymes. Next is about uh, this, the, uh, F1 particles or elementary particles or oxisomes. The uh, oxisomes. The inner membrane be a small, fine, tennis racket shaped particles called oxisomes. The inner mitochondrial inner membrane be a small, fine, this uh, tennis racket shaped, regularly spaced tennis racket shaped particles known as oxisomes. These oxisomes play an important role in ATP synthesis. So oxisomes are, if, uh, what are oxisomes? Uh, the inner membrane of mitochondria bear fine tennis racket shaped particles which are regularly spaced. These uh, particles are called oxisomes. This tennis, uh, this oxisomes have head stomach and a zero base. These oxisomes play an important role in ATP synthesis. Next about mitochondrial matrix. Inner to this uh, mito, uh, inner, inner to the membrane is the mitochondrial matrix. It is a complex mixture of lipids and proteins. Mitochondrial matrix inner to the membrane is the mitochondrial matrix. It is a complex mixture of lipids and proteins. Then this matrix also contains enzymes which are uh, the tRNAs, uh, uh, bacteria, mitochondrial DNA required for cellular respiration. All are there in the mitochondrial matrix. Now functions of mitochondria. First function is mitochondria is responsible for cellular respiration. Cellular respiration and synthesize ATP. So mitochondria are referred to as powerhouses of the cell or ATP factory of the cell. So mitochondria are responsible for cellular respiration. Second one is it can uh, maintain the calcium ion concentration. It can maintain the calcium ion concentration in the cell. The third one is it regulates the metabolic activities of the cell. These are the important functions of mitochondria. Mitochondria are responsible for cellular respiration. During cellular respiration, mitochondria release energy in the form of ATP. So, mitochondria referred to as energy uh, powerhouses of the cell or ATP factory of the cell. Then it also maintains the calcium ion concentration in the cell. Third function is it controls or it regulates the metabolic activities of the cell.
these are the functions of mitochondria next about respiration types or respiration what do you mean by respiration respiration uh, yes respiration is nothing but the oxidation of food the food that we eat every day is called a diet it has to uh, this, uh, the, the diet contain carbohydrate protein lipids uh, minerals etc uh, when we intake oxygen the food will get oxidized and release energy so uh, this this is a chemical pro biochemical process now uh, types of respiration there are two types of respiration aerobic and anaerobic respiration there are two types of respiration aerobic and anaerobic respiration respiration involves the exchange of gases between organism and the environment so respiration involves the exchange of gases between the organism and the environment this is termed as external respiration so uh, the external plants intake oxygen for respiration this uh, uh, and uh, release carbon dioxide during respiration but at the time of photosynthesis only plant intake carbon dioxide for making food now this uh, so respiration involves the exchange of gases between organism and the environment is said to be external respiration it is a physical process plants intake oxygen for respiration and release so carbon dioxide oxide to the atmosphere during respiration it's a physical process so uh, respiration uh, if it uh, it's if it is in cellular level it's a biochemical process by which food is oxidized and release energy water and atp atp is in the form of energy so food is by uh, so respiration is a biochemical process by which the food is oxidized to release carbon dioxide energy and water so respira the respiration is nothing but oxidation of food that release energy co2 and water thus there are two types of respiration aerobic and anaerobic aerobic respiration respiration that takes place in the presence of oxygen is aerobic respiration respiration that takes place in the absence of oxygen is anaerobic respiration we people are aerobes we are respiring in the presence of oxygen we will respire oxygen so we people are aerobes or organisms which respire oxygen are called aerobes so aerobic and anaerobic respiration there are two types of respiration aerobic and anaerobic respiration so during aerobic respiration the organic food is organic food in the sense glucose so during aerobic respiration the organic food that is glucose is completely oxidized and release energy carbon dioxide and water so respiration is nothing but the oxidation of organic food that release energy it is it can be written like this this organic food the uh, formula is c6h12o6 plus oxygen release water co2 plus atp that is energy so respiration is nothing but oxidation of food oxidation of food this is glucose getting oxidized with the help of oxygen and release water carbon dioxide and the energy rich compound in the form of atp this takes place in cellular level so it is also called cellular respiration 
So air, this this respiration is also called cellular respiration. So respiration is nothing but this organic food, the oxidation of organic food. That is glucose. So aerobic respiration takes place in three stages. Aerobic respiration takes place in three stages. First stage is glycolysis. Second stage is Grubbs cycle. Third stage is electron transport chain. You all know that what is aerobic respiration? Aerobic respiration is the respiration which takes place in the presence of oxygen or utilizing oxygen respiration takes place. So it is also nothing but the oxidation of organic food. This is organic food getting oxidized and yield water, carbon dioxide and ATP or it generates water, CO2 and ATP, the energy rich compound. So the respiration is nothing but oxidation of organic food. This aerobic respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen. This aerobic respiration occurs in three stages. Glycolysis, Grubbs cycle and electron transport chain. First stage is glycolysis. During gly glycolysis, the this six carbon compound glucose, this is six carbon compound is converted into two molecules of three carbon compound. Glucose and organic food is oxidized to two molecules of three carbon compound namely five rubic acid. It takes place in the cytoplasm of the cell. Where it takes place in the cytoplasm of the cell. Children, you must know what is the first stage in aerobic respiration. What is it? Glycolysis. It is the first stage in aerobic respiration. Where it will take place? In the cytoplasm of the cell. It takes place in the cytoplasm of the cell. What will happen? The organic food is completely, this organic food is oxidized to yield two more molecules of three carbon compound namely pyruvic acid. So glycolysis takes place in the cytoplasm of the cell. During glycolysis the organic food is oxidized into two molecules of three carbon compound that is called pyruvic acid which is the second stage in aerobic respiration. Grubbs cycle. The second stage in aerobic respiration is Grubbs cycle. During this, this Grubbs cycle takes place in the mat, mitochondrial matrix. Grubbs cycle takes place in the mitochondrial matrix. During Grubbs cycle, this uh, during Grubbs cycle, this uh, pyruvic acid enters into the mitochondrial matrix. During Grubbs cycle, this pyruvic acid which is formed from glycolysis enters into mitochondrial matrix. There CO2 and water are produced. So second stage, which is the second stage in aerobic respiration is Grubbs cycle. During Grubbs cycle, this, uh, this pyruvic acid enters into the mitochondrial matrix. There it is oxidized to carbon dioxide and water. Well, the third stage is electron transport chain. It is accomplished through series of electron carriers called electron transport chain. It is also termed as ETS, electron transport system. So here, it, during the, it takes place in the inner membrane of mitochondria. All the carriers are there in inner membrane of mitochondria. During this stage, the ATP, NADP has 2 and FAD has 2. FAD has 2 is flavin adenine dinucleotide. NADP has 2 is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. These two are formed during glycolysis and graft cycle is, uh, is, uh, both are there in the mitochondrial matrix. 
Now, uh, or inner membrane of the mitochondria, these two products are, uh, generate electrons and energy. These two products, energy rich compounds, generate electrons, which is this electrons are captured by ADP, that is adenosine diphosphate. Is con now it is captured, these electrons are and energy and electrons are captured by ADP used to phosphorylate ADP to ATP. Now adenosine diphosphate is converted into ATP, triphosphate, adenosine triphosphate. This is called oxidative phosphorylation. What do you mean by oxidative phosphorylation? Formation of ATP from ADP in the presence of oxygen. That is oxidative phosphorylation. These are the three steps takes place in, uh, in aerobic respiration. Now this hydrogen, this oxygen accepts an electron to form the water molecule. Oxygen accepts electron or it reduces into water molecule. So thus these products are formed during aerobic respiration. Now aerobic respiration is nothing but the respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen. It, it occurs in three stages. Glycolysis, Grubb cycle, electron transport chain. Glycolysis. Glycolysis by little takes place. Glycolysis takes place in the cytoplasm of the cell. Yes, during glycolysis, the six carbon compound that is glucose or the food is oxidized into two molecules of three carbon compound, namely pyruvic acid. So, during glycolysis, conversion of glucose into pyruvic acid, conversion of six carbon compound into two molecules of three carbon compound, namely pyruvic acid. Why does it take place in the cytoplasm of the cell? Now, second stage is Krebs cycle. Grub cycle takes place in the mitochondrial matrix. Mitochondrial matrix here, this two three carbon compound that is pyruvic acid now enters from cytoplasm to mitochondria. Enters from cytoplasm to mitochondria. Then it is converted into carbon dioxide and water. Now this it is also this Grub cycle. The three carbon compound is involved in this cycle, so it is also called TCA cycle, tricarboxylic acid cycle, TCA cycle. What is TCA cycle? Grub cycle is also called TCA cycle because the three carboxylic acid, namely pyruvic acid, is involved in this cycle, so it is also called TCA cycle. The third stage in aerobic respiration is electron transport chain. This, this, this electron transport chain is accomplished by, uh, by a series of electron carriers that is electron transport system. It, uh, it, takes, uh, this, uh, it, is, it takes place in the inner membrane or the uh, inner particles of mitochondria or elementary particles of mitochondria. There, uh, see, uh, during this process, NADP has 2 and FAD has 2. NADP has 3, the, these are also the energy rich compounds. FAD has 2 is flavin adenine dinucleotide. NADP has 2 is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. These two are uh, uh, releases electrons and energy. This uh, uh, these two are formed during Grubb cycle and glycolysis enters into, now enters into the electron transport system there it uh, releases electrons and energy these electrons are used to phosphorylate ADP into ATP ADP is diphosphate diphosphate is converted into triphosphate in the presence of oxygen so the conversion of ADP into ATP in the presence of oxygen is oxidative phosphorylation during this process oxygen is reduces or accepts electron oxygen accepts electron and reduced into water molecule thus these are the three stages takes place in aerobic respiration so as a result of aerobic respiration, lot of energy is released in the form of ATP or uh, in cellular respiration. So, mitochondria are referred to as powerhouses of the cell or ATP factory of the cell. Now, what about the other 
type of respiration that is anaerobic respiration anaerobic respiration takes place in the absence of oxygen or without oxygen respiration that takes place without oxygen is anaerobic respiration it takes place in some plants such as yeast and some other bacteria anaerobic bacteria during this process the food is converted into ethanol or lactate so it is also termed as fermentation this anaerobic respiration respiration takes place without oxygen or in the absence of oxygen is anaerobic respiration it takes place in some bacteria and yeast etc then this uh, during this process the glucose is converted into glucose molecule or the organic food is converted into ethanol or lactate this process is also called fermentation uh, fermentation process next about or q or respiratory quotient before entering into respiratory quotient you must know the differences between aerobic and anaerobic respiration aerobic respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen anaerobic respiration takes place in the absence of oxygen that is the first difference aerobic respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen anaerobic respiration takes place in the absence of oxygen respiration is carbon dioxide water and atp are produced by aerobic respiration carbon dioxide water and atp are produced but during anaerobic respiration lactate or ethanol are produced by anaerobic respiration then uh, aerobic respiration the first step it is the uh, first step in aerobic respiration glycolysis glycolysis is common in both aerobes and anaerobes glycolytic pathway is common to both aerobes and anaerobes so aero this it occurs in three stages respiration occurs in three stage but here in single stage these are the differences between aerobic and anaerobic respiration in anaerobic respiration only the first step takes place that is glycolysis but in aerobic respiration respiration involves three stages glycolysis grub cycle and electron transport chain but in anaerobic respiration the first stage that is glycolysis so first stage glycolysis is common to both aerobes and anaerobes what are called aerobes organisms which respire in the presence of oxygen are called aerobes organisms which respire in the absence of oxygen are called anaerobes now this respiratory portion so thank you children you have to learn today's portion then uh, respiratory quotient that is uh, uh, the the volume of carbon dioxide liberated out and the volume of oxygen consumed during respiration is respiratory quotient this also you learn we shall meet again in the next class thank you children